We'll start with the Mustard R30, size 12, dry fly hook. This is the uh, Comparadon with what, a bit of tying thread just at the front here to give a foundation for the wing. Rid of that. Well, because this is Dyneema I'm using, I want a little wax on there. Otherwise the hair will slip. So I'll just go forward to where we want the wing in. Now, when you're tying comparadons, what you want to look for is really fine straight hair with nice tip markings. So we cut a little bunch of that and then we want to remove all the under fur. Do this with a comb. Now grip the hair tightly between your finger and thumb. Not right on the tips, but nearly. About a third of the way up the hair. So we remove what we can there. Then we pull the rest out with our fingers. Then what I do is I push the hair forward. If you can see that happening there. This will release any shorter hairs. Push it forward again. That's about right now. So I'll just bunch that up and I'll put it in a hair stacker. Now, hair stackers come in absolutely every type of material. The heavier ones are the best. Uh, I've even seen them made in plastic, which are just absolutely, it's, that's like a chocolate kettle. It's totally hopeless. So you need a heavy hair stacker and if you have a hair stacker that has a cushion on the bottom whether it's cork or foam or felt take it off because you need that solid contact when you stack you only need to bang it three times and if you have a cushion on there it's like having a cushion on a hammer uh, you re reduce the the impact so very important so that's stacked now I can remove that and remove the hair. You see all the points are nicely done. So now we want about the length of the hair hook shank. I go up here. Tightening. Round again. slowly make our way back tightening as we go that's good keeping hold of the rear bunch trim that off at an angle. Then we can just touch this up. So we get a taper on the body. There we go, that'll do us. And then we can tie this in. Then we want to put, go forward, and we want to put a stopper, if I turn it that way, in front of the wing. There's one out of that. Let's around and then pull back in under the wing. This will stop, keep the wing not only upright but stop it sliding forward. There we go. 
then we can go back to the rear and tidy up that deer hair and back here for the tail. Now for the tail on this one I'm going to use a few elk hairs, nice stiff ones, so we just want to measure the tail. That's a bit right for me. So I'll just a couple of times around and then pull down at the back and these will pull up onto the top of the hook shank. I'll just check that that's right. A bit too long, so I'll just shorten that. That's much better. I'll just go back uh, forward first, just to secure them with tight turns, and then I can go back. I'll spin my thread anti-clockwise to flatten it. And then I'll go back and as I get to the tail base where the last of the wrappings will be, I slacken off a little bit. If I put too much pressure on here, what will happen is the tails will flare. So I just want a couple of loose or looser wraps at the back just to keep the tail in check. And then as I go forward again, I can tighten. and tied the butt ends down. Good, and then I can just remove them. And we can go over them just to get a neater body, just a foundation. Don't worry about these few hackles, uh, hairs that are pointing down, we can just take these off. You're always going to get a couple. I'll just <laughs> That's good. So then we go back. Remember not too tight as you get to the tail. This is super fine dubbing let me just wrap that a little push it up and catch it in make a couple of turns and then I'll tighten it up and we'll go forward keep it what we want to do is just prop up the wing at the back like so, and we'll pull it all back and we'll prop up the front a little bit of dubbing left on the tying thread there so we just tighten that up and one hair of course always There we are, and we need a whip finisher. Three. There. And one, two, three. There. I move the tying thread. The wee hair there. I'll get rid of that. Position the wing. There we are. That's the comparison. And I'll just whip it out so you can see it from the front angle. There we are. Great little fly. You can fish it as a dun, a hatching mayfly, or even a spinner. So uh, I always tie some up for each hatch I'm fishing in the right colour and size. But that's it. Comparison. Thanks for watching.